Hey, this video is brought to you by Cloudways, your one-stop shop for Laravel and WordPress hosting. If you're in the market for new managed VPS hosting for your JavaScript or PHP apps, I highly recommend Cloudways. I've been a customer since 2016 and they've never let me down. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description below for you to try it. You get $10 off using my code. So in this video, I want to go over how to manage your PHP versions in macOS. Uh, this has changed in recent years. Usually we'd use uh, Laravel Valet, which is still a thing, but um, I, I just bought a, a MacBook Air that I'm using now. So I moved over to Laravel Herd and uh, Laravel Herd, you can see here, I'm going to link this in the description below. It's just a download for Mac and actually it now exists for Windows, which is cool. You could just download and install that and it downloads as a DMG. And uh, what inspired me to make this is this kind of recap of what's coming to PHP 8.4 on Laravel News. I'll link this in the description as well. Uh, and you could see, I mean, it's definitely worth a read. There's some cool stuff, little helpers that are coming out, uh, little quality of life improvements. And I guess the big one is this property hooks change, but that's not the topic of this video. Um, so when you install Laravel Herd, which is, in my opinion, the correct way to manage your PHP versions now, if you're a Laravel developer, what's going to happen is you're going to download that DMG on a Mac or I guess .exe on a, on a Windows computer. And um, on a Mac, you're going to get an H that shows up in your taskbar. Now, the way I'm filming this video, you're not going to be able to see that. But um, you can see here, this is the menu that opens up when I click that H. And you can see that currently I'm running PHP 8.4, which is in alpha. And I'm running Nginx, DNS mask, and FPM. If I hit settings here, it's going to open up a window that shows all my PHP version. Sometimes it opens to general or wherever you left off, but there's a PHP tab here. And you can see that I have these three versions installed. Now I'm just going to show you. If I do PHP V, you can see that I have PHP 8.4 alpha one installed. And if I go back to herd and actually, sorry, in the menu bar here, and I hit PHP 8.2, let's say, and we verify that it's switched. Now, technically, PHP V should give me PHP 8.2.21. So that's the latest one I have installed. Um, it's really easy, actually. I'm, I'm kind of surprised by how easy it's become to manage this because Valet was sometimes kind of a nightmare. If, if you messed up your config and you had to reinstall it, it was just a mess. Uh, to install a new version or an update, if there's an update to one of these, an update button will show up right here and you'll be able to update just clicking that. If I wanted to say, let's just install 8.1, I'll hit install. You'll see that it's going to download. And once it's done downloading, uh, I'll be able to just use it. So I'll show you that. And one of the interesting things about this is that if you pay for it, they have a whole bunch of other services that it can manage for you. Uh, the free version includes Node, which I don't use because I didn't actually know that I could do that. I installed Node manually. Um, Let's see if this works. Okay, so I have 8.1.29 installed. If I go up to the menu here, now it says use PHP 8.1. So if I hit that, remember that it showed, PHP V showed 8.2 here. If I now clear this and do PHP V again, it should show 8.1.29. And that's what my Laravel apps are going to use. Um, one of the things that's probably worth still mentioning is in settings, um, there is a section here, sorry. There's a section here, sites. When you click sites, it gives you all your sites in a list here that exist on your local. You can set your default PHP version for that specific site and it'll maintain that for that only that project the way I understand it. Um, I, I found this a little bit buggy, but I've also used it in the past. So uh, yes, Laravel heard, great. And that's that's pretty much how, how I would do it moving forward. So if you have any questions on this, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm, I've been adding uh, polls to the community tab of this channel, trying to figure out what people actually want to see. If you have any ideas for future videos or any series you want to see, uh, you want to see me build, you see a lot of stuff on YouTube, like building a Twitter clone with Laravel, that kind of thing. Uh, I would love to do that. So you just let me know what you want to see or any ideas you have, and I will happily build them. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next video.